All right, so what's up, good? I hope all is well. We are back again uh, with the cutting series, the shredding series, trying to lose weight. Um, we're on about day 30-ish right now, about a month into this, on and off. More of a journey thing, but we're seeing progress so far. Today, I'm going to be trying out a new gym. So I am looking forward to that. Chest and back today, I'm following a new 12 to 16 week program, uh, like an Arnold sort of split with a lot of abs incorporated in the end. I'll bring up the program on screen at the end of the video and I'll be looking to use a little bit of machines where it may be mimics the sort of thing rather than doing the actual exercise. Okay, so I'll see you in the gym. Enjoy your workout. Peace. All right, what's up, good? I hope everyone is well. Today we are at a different gym in um, the name of Ipsonus Gym, Limassol. Uh, just wanted a general change up from the gym we currently go to because I don't enjoy it that much. Um, wanted a different go with some of some of, some of the uh, machines here. I got told was very good and they did not disappoint. Uh, the leg machines do look feisty, so I'd like to have a go on them. Um, next leg day, well not next leg day, some leg day will be really good to train, train legs down there. But today we are training chest and back. Um, very mild weight, this is a bit of a heavier set, but I'm just really making the most of the machines. Trying to get that mind-muscle connection and go through the motions a little bit slower than uh, normal. Just slowing the damn thing down rather than going balls to the wall, um, heavy, or just trying to go mad intensity. Just trying to get the best possible form that I can and contraction of the muscle. Uh, but yeah, this rowing machine was class. Um, really hit the angle of the back nicely, um, hitting that central back and getting a nice little squeeze on it as well. We then move on to a lat pull down machine, um, which follows a nice range um, pattern of movement that goes inwards and outwards. Really feel it pinch the lats, um, getting that that wideness. Do you know what I mean? Um, because when we're doing pull downs, we're looking at the wideness, and then when we're doing rows, as most people know, that's where you're looking to get the thickness and the density. But yeah, another class machine. Um, just kept it nice and lightweight really looking to get the contraction like I say um, not sure if I said earlier or in a ta other take so this is like my fourth or fifth take on um, doing a little voiceover but I'd like to smash a leg day here the machines here do look really really good um, got some um, classic plate loaded machines like the the Arnold one which works hamstrings glutes um, I don't even know why I'm going to attempt to describe it because it's harder to describe more than it's worth um, but you know what I mean if I did a leg workout here uh, blah, blah, blah. but yeah moving on uh, did about four or five six four five six I think I did about five five sets on this this machine really trying to force the overload of the width on the lats um, moving on to a row machine which allows you to supinate your grip so obviously you can do a grip that's like overhand where you choose to keep it in a straight line or you can do it like uh, parallel and straight on uh, i chose to twist it do a little bit of twist in action just to really get that pinch in the middle of the back and it hit it nicely there and then we move on to chest uh, doing an incline chest press first just loaded up the weights with 30 kilos each side uh, no 30 kilos sorry tell a lie 40 kilos each side and then just really going slow and contracting the muscle through the movement hitting that upper chest thinking about getting that squeeze on the, the pectoral major and here's the other half having a go at it she decided to train chest for me convinced her um, although she doesn't really do chest like that she she did back because she normally does back with me so she did back and then I convinced her to do a little bit of chest as well 
and then this machine right here was very very good really allowed the squeeze and the inner pecs I know the inner pecs isn't really a thing that's that's more of like a, a bro science word um, but allow me to pinch pinch the the pectoral muscles nice and together and really get the pectoral minor the lower chest activating getting that gorilla chest going but um, the pattern of movement on on this exercise was excellent and then I went back to back back to back back to training back with a bit of bent over t-bar rows because we don't have that in our current gym uh, again not overloading the weight crazy just trying to contract slowly and get as much blood into the back as possible and then I quickly go down and do a set of press ups in between this is my finisher I did about 15 set uh, 15 sets 15 reps of press ups super set up with about 10 to 12 um, t-bar rows but anyway ordinarily when I'm not in this gym this is what I'd follow um, I didn't really follow that today I just think did things that kind of mimicked it um, but when I'm in a regular gym that's what I'll be following I will be following this program for about 12 to 15 weeks okay so that's the chest and back day um, abs at the end is normally dependent on um, time and if I can be bothered to be honest uh, but I would like to get abs in at the end anyway I hope you've enjoyed peace